The Miami Valley tonight's just starting to wring out all the water from last night's massive flash floods. More than five inches of rain dumped on Miami and Clark counties fell so fast, there was almost no time to prepare. I'm just thinking like, okay, what do I do? Where do I go? Now I'm trying really hard not to be upset, not freak out over everything. Tonight we're going to take you to see all the damage and to hear from folks like Ashley in a way still treading water. We have team coverage tonight. Nicole Grigg is live in Covington where they're just starting to add up the cost of the storm. But first, Elise Coulter is live in Bethel Township where an entire apartment complex had to be evacuated. And Elise begins our team coverage with what the people are dealing with there. Hi, Elise. Yeah, Jack and Deborah. the water here at these apartments on Gerlaw Road has receded quite a bit, but if you were to look down here, it's, you know, almost up to my knees back there, definitely higher. And the folks that we spoke to today tell me that last night it was waist deep. It's just, horrible. It is horrible. Dozens of people in disbelief as they look at the water that's destroyed everything these families own. I cannot believe this. Oh, my gosh. Several feet of water is slowly draining out of the parking lot, but for those waiting to get inside their homes, it's not fast enough. If I go back there and that water's any higher than it was when I left, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ashley Hudak waded through the water last night with her fiancé and two kids, but had to leave behind her wedding gown and bridesmaids dresses. She ties the knot in just one month. Um, Trying really hard not to be upset, not freak out over everything. But no reason to get upset. We found her fiance behind the apartment's wedding gown and dresses in hand. He waded through the water to their apartment just to get it out. And this man walked through the waist deep water to get some of his belongings out as well. He shared these pictures of the inside of his home with us. His fridge turned on its side and open, his couch floating in the water, and his bed soaked. I just feel so bad, you know, I mean, this is devastating. You never think this kind of thing happens to us, you know, you know people like this, so close to home. Joshua Webb felt bad for these families and offered his help. I just felt like I needed to come down here and do something. They need all the help they can get right now. The Red Cross is at a local church tonight helping the families who live here. Now, we've heard that you're not supposed to even drink or even really be around a lot of the flood water, so we took a sample of it for ourselves. We're going to have a local lab test it, and we'll tell you what we find later on. For now, reporting live in Bethel Township, Elise Coulter, Fox 45 News.